What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now, I remember three years ago, right around this time, the fever pitch for the Avengers Endgame trailer was building to an all-time high, and I foolishly thought we might never see anything like that ever again, or at least not until the end of the next saga. Fast forward three years and a whole year and a half without any Marvel content, and this Spider-Man No Way Home trailer fever pitch has gotten to a point that is absolutely ridiculous. Hundreds of comments in my Instagram DM linking me fake trailers from YouTube asking if this is it, and alongside the hype that's built for this trailer, so have the hoaxes. While Sony themselves have been teasing the waters just a little bit with their international accounts, we had Sony Latin America leaking out an official trailer, which was eventually taken down by Sony. Again, if you want to see that and somehow haven't, there's a link down in the description. But because there have been so many fakes and the amount of nonsense that's gone on with this trailer, I've been very public about wanting to cut the content out here at the channel. We've only covered Spider-Man No Way Home two times out of our last 20 videos. But today we have two rumors that we cannot ignore. The first coming from within the industry that there's a very obvious and very real reason why Sony and Marvel have not released the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer and why they may not for a while. We're going to get into that as well as breaking while I was doing this video what might be another obvious fake but I have the video for you here possibly revealing the exact run length for the trailer there's some other stuff going on in that video we're going to break down so we're going to get into the rumor as to why disney and marvel have not released it yet why it may be a while before they do and this brand new video which i'll include but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're still giving away a playstation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers disney plus subscriptions while the shows are live and announcing some brand new mcu related giveaways as soon as what if goes live in a couple of weeks if you want to be entered to win all you have to do hit the subscribe button then leave a comment on the video down below and if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first, let's start with the rumor attempting to explain rightly or wrongly why Marvel and Sony have not dropped the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and especially not already this week, a week that a lot of us, myself included, were on record as saying would be the perfect week for them to drop it a couple of weeks off What If?, Loki had just wrapped in its finale, revealing the multiverse, a possible explainer for what we'd see during the Spider-Man trailer, and Black Widow had a full two weeks run at the box office. Speaking of which, and I'll bring up why that's important in just a moment, this rumor attempts to say that the reason Sony and Marvel may be holding back on the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer release is because they're nervous about what might happen with the pandemic, being locked down again, theaters going to minimum capacity, not being open at all, or some territories being off the table. As I've mentioned many times here at the channel, if you're new, Sony is a much smaller theater house than some of its counterparts. They make far less movies, and Spider-Man is their most profitable intellectual property by a mile. It basically props up the rest of their movie division. They need to release this when they can make as much money at the box office as possible. The reason I just mentioned Black Widow, well, we saw a steep, steep drop off at the box office the next week, and a lot of people pointed to video on demand leading to high piracy numbers, and that leading to people not going to the box office. But that's not something that Sony Sony could even worry about in the first place. They don't have the luxury of a Disney Plus platform to release things. We detailed earlier this year an agreement between Sony and Disney that could lead to them eventually releasing material there. But in the meantime, they've got to make as much money at the box off this off Spider-Man as possible. That means if they have to delay it because we go back into lockdown this December, they don't want to release the trailer out, possibly land in the situation that Marvel did with Black Widow, having a trailer out years in advance. And actually, Sony is not new to this either. They released the trailer for Morbius last year, and by the time that film comes out, the trailer may actually supersede it by two full years. That being said, they're holding back on the trailer, possibly according to this rumor, until they know things will be a full go for the December release date. And I know that's something you guys don't want to think about. And it's something you don't want to talk about. But in the meantime, it has to be acknowledged. It definitely points to a very common theme in Marvel's MO. They went ahead and moved their slate and then had to move it again. And after that second move due to the pandemic and COVID-19, they didn't say anything about anything. We didn't get a release date for Falcon the Winter Soldier, WandaVision until basically the very last moment at the end of the year. I kept saying it was because they didn't want to move it again. They would just take as much time as possible. We've kind of taken for granted that they give us as much information as they do. And withholding the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, again, this coming from Sony or Marvel and Disney working together, as we've heard real recently in some interviews, either way, by holding this trailer, it makes sure they don't release it too early and then have to move the film, have the trailer sitting out there for a year. Yes, I know not fun for the fans, 
but perhaps a reason why they're doing it, there may be some validity to this rumor. Now, speaking of there may be some validity to, okay, this video got put online. It's one of the millions out there. It's not exactly an obvious fake right off the bat, but we have to talk about it. Now, I'm gonna mute the video because there's a lot of profanity being used in it, but this person cuts in and says something jackass, not with jackass or on jackass, but something jackass, the film jackass that comes out October 22nd or so we hope, and then points to this screen that seems to list out all the trailers you can see there on the computer. And then if you zoom in, it says that the Spider-Man 3 trailer is apparently one minute and 40 seconds long. Now we've heard from several theaters across the country that they already had the trailer and it was locked down behind encryption whether or not that's true, whether or not this is real. Again, there have been so many fakes and so many hoaxes. Uh, if you guys remember back when this sort of was going down for the Venom trailer a year ago, I was spending a bunch of time taking all those Venom fakes people were posting and explaining how they did them in Photoshop. If you wanna see any of those videos, they're still up. I would literally find the source photos, show you how they made them. I hate that people are jumping through hoops to try to defraud people, but the hype for Spider-Man No Way Home has just reached such an all-time high that this is what people have come to, definitely in lieu of them not having any actual real material. And I'm just going to vent for a second. That is my only gripe with us not getting a trailer. I don't know if they knew that the, the, the fever pitch for Spider-Man 3 would be this high. But as soon as Disney and saw what this got to with that Sony uh, leaked trailer from Sony Latin America back in December, again, if you haven't seen that, it gets copyright struck when it's on YouTube, but it's on my Instagram. There's a link down in the description. I'll also put it in the comments. When they saw this hype get so high, they should have given us something so that we could spend our time pouring over that and talking about that content rather than not giving us anything. We've also seen for Disney, especially for Disney+, Plus, but they started this trend with Avengers Endgame, giving us so many trailers that you basically cover up the leaks, you cover up the nonsense. They're giving us trailers all the time, several 15 minute clips, one every other day. Um, I know that they wanna hold as much information about Spider-Man as possible, but Disney's already sort of given us the roadmap. And instead of cramming all those in to three weeks before the film goes live, why not spread them out and give us a couple of 15 second clips? They would literally be so hot right now. Everybody would be so into them, but hey, I don't run marketing for Sony and Disney, not my call. I just do this YouTube thing. I think I think I marry a lot of your guys' sentiment when I say that. Um, but hey, who knows? I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Uh, as always, how you feel about both of these, both the rumor for the release date and whether or not you think there's any legitimacy to this uh, video and the shot of the Spider-Man trailer. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers. We're also giving away Disney Plus subscriptions every week while the shows are live, and we're gonna announce some brand new Marvel-related giveaways when What If goes live in just a couple of weeks. If you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do and all the same rules will always apply, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple Music, iTunes, wherever you listen to music under the name All Fires. I have four songs out. It'd be awesome if you checked them out. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.